Hey guys, it's Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi here, and since Hanzo has been being played more in the meta as of late, I'm going to be showing you guys how to perform correct dragon strikes and how to stop whiffing your dragon strikes on the ladder. Let's get started. In this example here of the dragon strike, I'm coming back from spawn, and our Ursa pops bongo. The enemy team has Nano Blade coming up on deck with all of their ults except for Hog and Sigma. Since we know that they're gonna Nano Blade, the Nano Blade comes in. Our Sigma is gonna try to ult the Genji since we don't we do not have a defensive ultimate. We're going to our Sigma misses the Genji, but I use my Dragon Strike preemptively to block off the Genji's heals from the rest of his team. He misses the dash on her mercy and she flies away with Valk, and I'm able to clean up the kill with Storm Arrow. Example here, our team is about to lose the fight, and I'm just trying to build Dragon here to try to make a last ditch effort play. We see the Hog on the flank, so I'm going to Storm Arrow the Hog, and then immediately sprint into Jump Dragon to try to Dragon Point to try to deter them to get off cart so we can get enough space for our team to come back. This also inadvertently splits off the Zen and gets some, some damage into the Zen. And he's split off from his team and he can't harm any, any of his team. Unfortunately, the Ana can still see the team and we try to at least try to get a few cleanups, but the fight is lost. Another tip that comes with this play is the Hanzo tech where you can jump while dragoning in midair. If you, if you do your Dragon Strike and leap at the same time, you will leap with your Dragon Strike and you can change the direction that you are currently in midair on. You can do the same with Wall Climb and you can also charge an arrow immediately after Dragon Striking. In this next example, we have an example of a Dragon Strike which is very unorthodox the flank dragon strike. With the flank dragon strike, your Orisa needs to be ready to go for the pull, so we coordinated this in advance. You can't just go for it without telling anybody. But, they won't be expecting it as they'll never expect the dragon to come from behind them. The Zen gets pulled into the dragon and he dies instantly, giving us a clear fight win along with the death of the Hanzo who just happened to walk into my dragon. At the start of this fight, we're all grouped up on the high ground, as you can see here. And we're going to see what happens from here. Our Orisa is going to push up and absolutely feed, try to pull an evil toaster on the enemy team, and just completely just gets obliterated. By that I mean we're going to try to jump down in cart and we're just going to get obliterated because they have Bongo, and our Orisa gets unfortunately pulled into the enemy team. And our Orisa is dead. To try to win the fight, our Ryan's gonna go for a big shatter onto the enemy team. He's gonna stun the Sigma, which is gonna prevent him from using his shield in a different location. Their Hanzo is going to try to dragon our Ryan and our Zen, but in reaction to the dragon, our Zen pops trance. But Orion is split off from the rest of his team because of the dragon. In reaction to our trance, their Zen is going to pop his trance to try to win the fight while the Widow takes an off angle. To try to win the fight in a last ditch effort, I'm going to use Dragon Strike and completely cut off the point from the rest of the team, knowing that their trance is going to end soon. The dragon goes in and the Hanzo is caught first and the Orisa makes this mistake of walking. I also notice that the Widow is taking the off angle and take her for her, take her out. The Sigma I notice has Discord Orb on him, therefore he is weaker to my fire and so I take him out last and finally I've clutched at the point in a 2v6. Coming into the middle of a team fight here, I'm going to try to use my dragon to try to pump damage into the enemy team as much as possible. King's Row is a very good map for Hanzo because as you can see here there's not 
all of the enemies are very bunched up with a lot of tight corridors on King's Row being good places to throw your dragon to try to catch some enemies off guard. With Orion being nanoed and going for a shatter, I'm going to try and shoot my dragon into his team to try to prevent any follow up that they might have. They're not going to be able to push up because of the dragon and our, while our Mei is constantly freezing them in the back. They're not going to be able to push up at all. This is what I like to call a just die already dragon. I get my dragon and I just go for a dragon to try to get as many kills as possible since it's about to get overtime to try to get all of my focus attention on the Reinhardt that's nanoed in front of my face. I do get the hunt the McCree and get others low and it's actually a pretty good dragon because I'm able to split the spawn. If you're gonna go for a dragon like this like I just did a just just effing die dragon make sure you know where you're at least shooting your dragon you can't just shoot it into nothing at least make sure your dragon will have some value like cutting off the spawn we did here and tickling and trying to get as much damage on the enemy team as possible this has been the hanzo dragon strike tutorial with wifey or wifi ow and i hope you guys have learned something I know I talked about at least just cutting off people with dragons and different dragons like that. That's mainly all you really need to do with Dragon Strike. And I hope these tips will help you in your future comp games and climbing with Hanzo on the ladder. Have fun out there Hanzo mains and welcome to the new meta.